second flight was amazing. It went extremely well. Uh, we had, as compared to the first flight where we saturated the altitude at uh, 25,000 feet, uh, although we explored the, the full span of uh, what we call the airspeed, up to maximum authorized airspeed, 340 knots, we went up to almost uh, the uh, highest altitude allowed on this airplane. We reached uh, 42,000 feet, yes. And uh, we also went to the maximum uh, Mach number of this airplane, which is 0.89. And uh, we have cleared the envelope all over the place, uh, both in direct low and in normal low, which is the normal way to fly the airplane. The direct low being the one to explore this envelope uh, so that you are in direct touch with the airplane with nothing masking whatever could happen during the flight. And after, uh, we cleared um, with the landing configuration that were cleared at first flight, we engaged the, the normal low, the sophisticated low, the one providing the protection. And after clearing somewhat the high angle of attack in direct low, we engaged the normal low and we just seated on, on the maximum angle of attack, you know, the one that everybody is amazed with when we are flying at Le Bourget. So we did that on that airplane. This is second flight. Uh, and after, because we were in the mood, uh, we, we checked in open air uh, the low that we have for landing and being satisfied with, we came down, cleared the second landing configuration in direct low and after we made two circuits to clear the two landing configuration in normal low. It's lo a lovely handling airplane from the, from the pilot's perspective. Uh, we need to do a, a performance flight uh, later this week so uh, hopefully we can combine that with, uh, with a flyby at Le Bourget, there's no problem for that now. So now we are going to Le Bourget. <laughs>